you've probably heard those stories or even seen it yourself of an EV going 70 to 100,000 miles on the front brake pads. Going this far would be unimaginable for most internal combustion powered vehicles. So how did the EV do this? Well, the reason is regenerative braking. When you hit the brake pedal on most internal combustion vehicles, hydraulic pressure is generated by the master cylinder and sent to the calipers. The hydraulic pressure causes the calipers to clamp down on the brake pads and rotor. This causes the brake pads to generate heat and friction to stop. It also causes the brake pads to wear. On an EV, the regenerative braking system trades friction for power generation. When the driver hits the brakes to stop, let's say for a traffic light, the drive motor turns into a generator. The force required to turn the generator provides the stopping force. At this point, no hydraulic pressure is being sent to the calipers, and the generated power is used to charge the battery. It is not until the last few miles per hour that the hydraulic brakes are engaged. Under the conditions described, well, the caliper and brake pads may never reach temperatures to evaporate the moisture and remove corrosion during the owner's drive. If you look at the service schedule for Tesla Model S, they recommend cleaning and lubricating the brake calipers every year or 12,500 miles if you're in an area where there is salt on the roads. For vehicles, cleaning and lubricating the caliper is only performed when the brake pads are installed. Why would Tesla recommend this procedure be performed every year? Well, the answer is regenerative braking. The reason for this service is to make sure the pads wear evenly. The service requires the pads and caliper body to be removed. Then the brake hardware and pads are cleaned to remove any corrosion. After this, the appropriate surfaces are lubricated and the caliper is returned to the vehicle. If the owner neglects the service, rust and corrosion can build up on the hardware, pads and caliper and cause uneven brake pad wear. The service, well, it takes about an hour, but it's a service opportunity for your shop to work on electric vehicles and also hybrids. I'm Andrew Markell coming to you from the Vimpac EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.